Today I'd like to finally move everything from the other town over to here so that we get everything all in one place and also make a couple of improvements to this town. So that's going to be the focus of the episode. Let's jump into it. I should now be able to take down the uh, rest of this building and yep, looks like we're all good. Oh my goodness, that's so much dust. Uh, but there we are. So this is it. Our town once stood here and now all that's left is Russell. <laughs> He'll be forever here as an immortal reminder of what once was. I suppose I should also just take down this path as well. Um, we, we don't need it anymore. It's just here on the map. So not something that I have to do, but something I'm going to do. Apart from the final bit, we're going to keep the little V shape around the tree. Was it the tree of hope or the tree of beginnings? I think is what we renamed it to, wasn't it? Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm also noticing as I'm doing this in the top uh, left right there, uh, we've got an issue where five people will need something um, in order to continue working. So I want to fix that as well. But yeah, just as we get up to this cross section right here, I think I'll leave that. Yep, that should be fine. And then this is the tree of beginnings. So this will forever be the tree of beginnings right here. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So on the management screen right here, let's have a look. Uh, who needs stuff? So it looks like ex excavation shed, they need tools. Specifically, they need shovels. The wood shed, they're going to need axes. Uh, that's two of the five things. And then what else is a problem here? Okay, the smithy needs some resources. Um, so basically, they're not able to make any tin ore at the moment. So yeah, that's a bit of an issue, I suppose. Um, and it looks like there's something else going on here. This resource storage here is damaged. I think we need to take that one down. And that'll give us a load more uh, new resources. So that's the one that we had over by our initial mining area. So when we lived in the town that was once here, um, you see we're here on the map, uh, just up here was where we were doing our mining. Now I can actually go and take that resource storage down and get the resources back from it. Although as I'm saying this, I'm thinking I might need to build another resource storage though in order to do that. So that could be an issue. So maybe something we'll do in the future. Um, I might build like a little outpost in the future, like a little farming outpost or something like that. Uh, just as a bit of fun and also as a way of getting our farming skill up so we can unlock some of the bigger items like the windmill would be really awesome to have. Uh, the apiary as well, getting into bees, I think that would be pretty fun. So perhaps we'll do that at some point too. For now though, I'm just going to head back to the town, get everybody working once again, keep our town nice and productive. We're in awesome right now, so obviously we're thinking about winter already. And what I will try to do is get as many of those buildings, if possible all of them in the new town, uh, completely insulated before the winter just to drive down the demand for that firewood. And uh, hopefully we can get a good amount of that done. Maybe not all of them, but uh, I think we can get pretty close. As I was at the smithy making up a load of uh, tools for my villagers, you can see the job demands now have gone down significantly. We unlocked the sewing hut level two, and that's something I just want to upgrade straight away because it's going to do a few things for us uh, beyond just giving us the sewing hut level two. So first things first, let's go over to it in the production section. Now, if we click this, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? So you'll see it actually snaps to the current sewing hut, right? So you don't have to like destroy this and rebuild it. You can place it down. Just before I do though, the other thing it's gonna do is these walls here have been insulated. You know what, let's uh, get rid of that a second. You can see these are insulated walls. So what I wanna do when I place this down is just see whether or not uh, the insulation stays. So let's go back yeah, in and place the building down. Uh, obviously just there like that. And now we just need to build it up. Looks like she might have stopped working just while we're about to build this up. And also looks like we are going to lose our insulation because uh, these walls are having to be rebuilt, aren't they? So to build this, we're going to need logs. We're going to need planks. Uh, actually, it's probably just logs and planks then, right? Because the, the foundations and stuff are done. So yeah, that'll be it. Uh, I don't think I'll time lapse this one, guys. Quite a small building and one that we've done before, albeit obviously we did level one. Um, but for this small upgrade, I'm just going to get it done. And then I'll show you what it looks like after it is done. And we'll check on the insulation too. Well, here is the new sewing hut, guys. And uh, this one's a lot more enclosed than the other one was. So I don't know if overall this one actually reduces the firewood demand. Talking of which, you can see in the top left, we do need to make up some firewood. Uh, but let's go in. Let's have a little look at the inside. It's basically the same thing, I think. Yeah, it's the same building. Uh, the only difference being that there's now walls around here, whereas before it was a bit more open. Honestly, I actually kind of liked it open. <laughs> As you can see what she was up to in here, and it was kind of nice. Whereas now when we come out here and look at this, it's just, you know, an enclosed building. I don't know. I think it was better when it was open. Um, it's like these buildings we have over here as well. You can see them at work, you know. If eventually they're going to become closed in, it's just, I don't know, not quite as nice, right, as being able to see people, well, not necessarily see uh, them practicing their Michael Jackson moonwalking, but when they're actually working. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Either way, we have it, and it's now a building that will also need to have uh, insulation done. But before that, we're going to go and do the uh, the firewood. Now, I'm noticing as well, we've got all the geese and chickens <laughs> running around here. So this is kind of what we wanted. 
but it's uh, there's, a, there's getting to be a lot of them. Although I do think it's kind of fun having these guys around here. Excuse me, I lost my voice there a second, but yeah, it is fun having them here. I think it's like gives the uh, the town just a little bit of character, doesn't it? And there's a horse there just for good measure too. <laughs> anyway, let's take care of all that uh, firewood and then uh, start preparing for winter by doing a bit more insulating. Most of this will just be done off camera. Um, and then I'll find something else to do. I just made up a ton of the firewood, and if we go into management here, you can see now the wood demand uh, is 224 um, per day, right? So we've got 1,300 there, which is like six times or so. The uh, so six days worth, a couple of seasons. But it got me thinking about the uh, the wood chopper over here. Maybe we could get her making up a bit more wood for us, uh, or firewood, I should say. So if we have a look at uh, excavation, go to the woodshed. Wait, Woodshed 1? Didn't we unlock the Woodshed 2? Why have we not built that? Let me just check this a second. So, buildings, uh, what is it? It's uh, extraction, Woodshed 2. Oh, wow. How did we not... Okay, all right, well, we're doing that. We're going to upgrade that for sure. Um, let's see what we need here. So, we're going to need um, logs and planks and not many of either. Um, so, that's actually pretty handy. Let me go do that, and then once that's done, we'll get a second person working in there. And that makes sense. We probably didn't have the big enough woodshed uh, for the town's needs because we've got a big one. But now we'll be able to produce even more wood. I mean, I was saying before how much wood we have, like 600, 700 logs or something. Actually, we can check that up here. Uh, so, yeah, it's, like, it's going to be awesome to have that much and, uh, you know, for, for the town expansion. So in the storage right here, let's go down to logs. Yeah, 600 logs and I've just built with a load. Um, let's grab just, I don't know, that many. And we need, what was it, planks, I think, as well? Just grab a load of planks too. Um, probably went a bit overkill there on the logs. Put a few of those back just so we can actually move. And then uh, we should be able to finish this up. And then we'll get a second worker in there. And uh, that might be something we do next episode though. Uh, something for the future where we can get another person working on that. Okay, definitely brought too many resources with me. I'm still heavily over encumbered even though I've uh, you know just spent all those resources. Now, I'm just thinking for this building. Um, let's see if we set our hammer. Is there... Oh, I guess I already had it set. Is there a way that we can even add insulation to this? No, so I don't think that changes the firewood needs at all. What it will do, though, if we go to the woodshed building itself now, down here under extraction, right there, there we go. Um, so now we can have two people working. There. Oh, wait, we have zero? Does that mean the sewing hut as well? Ah, this is interesting. Okay, so you have to reassign people to these jobs. So sewing hut was Bogner. Let's get her in there doing that, which is good. And the woodshed, is it Bogdala from memory? Uh, what am I doing here? Assign worker. Let me see, Bogdala, yeah, you're not doing anything, so there we go. Okay, great, so that's an important one, guys. You do need to reassign them. Uh, now, these here, is this, like, are these all children? Do we have three children in our... Oh, yeah, age zero, so we've got a baby and two children. Wow, this is so cool. Our colony's really growing nicely. So, a couple of tips there, guys. If you do upgrade a building, make sure that you replace the worker or workers afterwards. And also, uh, if you're going to add insulation to your buildings, you might not want to do it if you're about to upgrade them, because... Uh, you have to then do it all again. Seems like night time's here. The geese and chickens take over. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, they do return to their, their hen house and stuff at night. But, yeah, there, there's quite a lot of them, isn't there? I've had a really nice idea that I want to try out for the horse enclosure as to how we can make it look just a little bit nicer. So let's go on to roads, first of all. And what I want to do is start with a road as close to here as we can get and as central as we can get to that. So it basically connects up to that little bit of gravel path there. So let's come. Yep, okay, come like this. Uh, so now we want to come... We just passed this fence, right? So we need to keep this nice and straight and come back to like there. Hopefully that's about right. It looks like it's going to be. We then bring this the whole way down here. But I want this to be straight because what I want is a bit of road and then I want the, the, the grass there just to the right of it. So we want to line it up with that as well. We're trying to line everything up. It'll be a little tricky sometimes. Okay, I think that's going to be good. Let's line that up with that. It's around about there. Let's see. Yeah, so we've got that little bit of grass next to the fence. That looks a little bit more authentic to me. Then we just come down nice and easy, and we just line this up with the center of this door as far to, like, as close to it as we can get it. Which actually, is really close. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's great, right? The whole thing like this. And we've got this here with the, the walkway, as I say, and it connects up to the other side. So that's where the workers can sort of walk. And later on, we can connect this up to here as well. And how do we want to connect it up to here? Let me think about this. If I grab this, I want to destroy a few bits of this path. Um, and this is actually going to be so much nicer the way we do this. Let's just get rid of that many for now. Uh, and then put you away. We're going to build road once again, connecting up from here. Now, getting it connected up can be a little tricky. So let's make sure we start on that path and get it as central as we can. Like that. Okay, we'll see how this works. So I'm thinking if we go like this way a little bit and then off to here. 
and again get in as far as we can before it grays out okay cool how does that look on these connection bits you know because it's like a corner it actually works really really well like these little shrubs and things that are over the path there i think that's actually kind of nice now the great thing about this first of all we don't just have a straight path anymore right straight paths are so boring it's not a medieval town that's a modern american town right it's not what we're going for at all the other thing that's gonna be really nice about this the reason i wanted to do this is we're going to do some fencing here so back to the uh fences log fence and the same fence we used before and what we're going to do is we're going to start on the side of the building just here like this uh maybe, maybe there actually so like that okay cool then we're going to run that down to this corner so that's going to go like somewhere there but actually i'm realizing i need to do something else first because what i want to do is under the gate section we've got these log gates here i want to use one of these things now what looks the most horsey that's the question that one there looks pretty good and there's that one there as well either one of these looks pretty horsey to me which one do we want to go for i loaded up my horse with a load of logs and what we're going to do is come down here right now and i've decided on the fence so let's get to the area we want to build it uh, let's go to fences gates log gates we're going to build this one here guys it's a bit more fancy a bit more expensive i think it's going to look really nice we want to place this down again i need to zoom out one day i'll actually remember this you guys are going to be so surprised when that day happens okay so we want this to frame this bit of path right here now is it going to look okay when i want to connect it up let's see well let's place it there okay um, oh we have to actually build it yep that makes sense now it's a little off center that might not matter if it does i'll simply destroy it and redo it Sometimes when we're building, we're going to make a few mistakes and then have to do things over again. Already, though, that's looking better having that, right? So what I want to do now is get this fence here. And let's see, we want a log fence, don't we? This one right here. And somehow connect this up. Does it like, Is it going to look any good if we do this? So if we build this like this, we come to there. Let's see. I think this could look good, but it needs to connect up to the middle of that. That's where I've gone wrong. So let's place that down there like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to build this fence because then we'll know where it is. So let me just get that done. Okay, so now what we need to do is unfortunately destroy this. So, yep, we lost. I mean, we lost three logs. It's not the end of the world, right? It's, uh, it could be a lot worse. Now we need to build it again and this time get it hopefully in the right spot. So what I want to do, yeah, there we go. So we can line you up with you and get it like as close as we can like that. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and actually build it and uh, six hits and that'll be done. I just think this is going to make the uh, the whole horse enclosure just look a lot better. There we go. All right, cool. So now you feel like you're walking into a, a stables, in my opinion, right? You're coming in through here. I think it's a lot nicer. And to finish it off, what we're going to do is connect up some fence down here. So we want to get this one again. Now, where can I build? I can build it in there, interestingly. So can I come through like that? I sort of can. Um, but I have to come off to the side a bit. Okay, that's not going to look great. What if I build it? Uh, let's go... Once again, log fence. If I build it from here. Is that going to look okay? Like, kind of like as close as we can. Okay, we're going for a change of plan, guys. So what we're going to do, we're destroying this once again. And this is probably all going to have to come down to. We'll just destroy that one for now. Uh, let's go back to uh, building. And what we're going to try is the other fence. Uh, so although, yeah, we've had to buy two fences. It's a little bit of a waste of money. In the long run, we'll use this. Okay, four sticks. Um, <laughs> let's go get four sticks. Let's see. How many can we get just from you? Four would be nice too. Oh my goodness. Okay, got those four sticks without having to go all the way back to the uh, resource storage. We're trying the, wait, fence gates, log gates, this one. Okay, yeah, because see how this one, this is going to connect up a lot better. Um, but what it's going to mean is I'm going to have to destroy this whole thing. Okay, you know what? Here we go. I'm destroying this. I'm going to do this off cam. I'm going to get it looking good, and then you guys will see it. Alrighty, guys. This is what I was going for. This is a lot nicer now. We've got the framework here at either end, as you can see, to indicate that you're now going into the horse enclosure area. And I just think that with a double fence there and the path around it, all connected up with the donkey hut, and also then down through here, the stables, just looks so much better than how it looked before. I think for the extra logs that we've spent there, it's more than worth it. And yeah, it just looks and feels a bit more horsey, I think. Uh, hopefully you guys agree. I hope you like this. I certainly do. I'm pretty happy with this. And incidentally, someone asked me in my Discord if I would do uh, world downloads, and I will. So if you'd like to download this world, come onto the Discord, let me know, and I'll just do an updated one whenever people ask for it. And uh, if you want to download this world and play it yourselves or just have a look around, you'd be more than welcome to do so. And incidentally, this is what it looks like in photo mode. If we have a little fly over here, you get to see a bit of a, an overview of it. So I think that's kind of nice too. It just shows you how it's looking. 
from where it is down here as well, we've got that path now that's not straight, which is, like I say, it's quite nice. We've got a little area here where we can create a bit of a farmyard with some decorations and stuff in the future. And then obviously the farms and stuff down here. So all up, it's really starting to take shape. With our farming and stables area coming along so nicely, I thought it'd be a bit of a, a good idea to add some decoration to this area. So what I've done is I've unlocked a load of different things here that we can build up. So let's see here. Let's go to like workstations and farming workstations. So we've got all these different hay piles, for example, right? So we could place some of these down. I think that'd be kind of nice in and of itself. The question is, where do we want them to go? Now, to me, a hay pile is something that like donkeys and horses might kind of graze on. So let's, well, I got to break in somehow. I've got to break into this thing, but then let's place one in there. So what I think I'll do is I'll place one up in this corner here, just like that. That looks pretty cool. And the reason for that is it's going to be quite visual to the rest of the town because this is where we're going to be spending a lot of time. So this will add a bit of ambience, whereas if we hide it away too much, then we won't really see it. Uh, now let's place another one in here as well. I think two hay uh, bales would be good. And let's maybe go for a smaller one. But the big one right there and a bit of a smaller one here. Maybe this could just go like on the corner of the barn down here. So it's just a bit less noticeable and stuff, but still adds a bit of something in there. Now, look, I don't know if this is realistic, that there would be hay piles in with horses and donkeys in real life, but I do like the look of it for this game. Uh, and we've obviously got limited options, so I think it's a good idea. Now, another thing that I've unlocked is a bit of uh, storage stuff. So let's go now into the decorations again, and uh, let's see, we're going to go to storages. And we've got these barrels, right? Now, these are going to look great wherever we place them, let's be honest. But what I think we can do... Let's place like one just there, that side of the barn, and one there just like that. Trying to get really close to the barn. There we go. So that's going to look quite nice. Then I think we can just have another one over here. We don't want to make it symmetrical. I think it looks better if it's not symmetrical, a bit like that. Uh, and then is there anywhere else where a barrel might look good? Can we place any inside the barn? No, it has to be outside. Okay. All right. Maybe we leave that for now then. And then there are some other containers I want to place here, which are these sacks, right? Because I think these will look really good. So what I wanted to do is place a sack like in here as close as I could get it to that. So it's like down there. That's pretty cool. And maybe another one on this side, just like that. And finally, we could place like one down, maybe just here. So it's just like a few sacks and bundles around there. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I do quite like that. Another place where I think we would see the sacks is over here, right by this farming shed. So uh, once again, we're going to place a few down. Maybe go like one there and hold on a second. We get that one just there and like a third in front. Maybe just there. Okay, that's cool. And then maybe just like a couple random ones around the back here. Just, you know, arbitrary sort of round like that. Yeah. Now, I think these little things, you know, they're pretty small and whatever, but they do add a bit of ambience, a bit of atmosphere to the area. And I quite like that. Now, obviously, as well, we need a new Russell Crowe. Uh, oh, what am I missing here? It's always the sticks that I forget. Okay, let's go on a stick hunt. Okay, I've got materials to make up a couple of scarecrows now. So let's go into uh, the scarecrow section right here. Get him facing the right way this time. It's just something about it. I find it difficult to, to see where he's facing. You know, maybe it's actually going to be easier on this time if I'm facing this way. So let's try to zoom in right in. Maybe that's going to make uh, life a little bit easier. So let's try that again. And okay, yeah, so this is the right way. If he's facing like that, he's facing out towards the fields. That's very good. And then maybe we'll place another one just down here somewhere, maybe on the edge of this field. And uh, once again, I'll make sure I get them facing the right way. So I think that one there looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe it's better with these sticks taken down, although I guess they'll keep respawning, won't they? But uh, yeah, there we go. So we've got a couple of scarecrows around here now. Again, just adding you know a little bit of stuff here to give it a bit, a bit of character and stuff. Now, the other thing as well I wanted to look at was getting some sort of fence along here where we're doing this farming. So what I want to do, let's go into fences. And first things first, Let's have a, a look at what fence do we want to build for the farming. So that there, Palisade, that's probably pretty big, isn't it? Uh, it's a thousand just to buy it, so it's probably a bit overkill. Maybe something like a stick fence, that's just quite a low one. You know, like, how would that look? Let's see, just like that. I Actually, I mean, it's very simple, but I do kind of like that for the farm. Because um, we've got the wattle fence over there, the log fence over there. This would just be something a little bit different. The final option is if you go down a plank fence, or even a stone... Oh, no, we can't do stone yet. Okay, the plank fence is... Yeah, these are going to be expensive, and there's a lot of planks required. Bit overkill. We're going to go for the simple one, just like this. Okay, now the question is, how do we connect this up? So it'd be nice to have it coming from somewhere near the bridge, I think. Like, if we did it like this, how do we think that's going to look? I mean, not terrible, right? I think you could have it... What I want to do is maybe have it coming like that, then across here like this, right? Purposely cutting that corner off. Then we come down this way. And then what I think we'll do is we'll have little openings, right? So this is actually a little bit too close. Let me just redo that a second. Okay, so once again, we're going to start it from like about here. That's going to be fine. And we'll come along until we get to like, you know, there or something. 
Then we want to come here, but I want to leave a bit of space. So there's purposely a bit of grass in between. So about maybe there, right? So that I think it looks nice where the gravel ends. There's then a little bit of grass before we get to the fence. And then we come down this way and let's see. Hold on, we're in the matrix again. I'll change that in just a second. So we've built the fence all the way up to here. Then when we get to here, we'll leave a little bit of a gap, right? So that the people can get in and out of uh, this farm here. Then I think we could come down like this it would be nice. And let's see at this corner. Yeah, how do we want to do that? That's going to be a little tricky, isn't it? Hmm, okay, it's going to need some thought. Through the night, I added a few things to the farm, and now we can see how it's looking. So this fence here connects up there. And to be honest, that looks pretty natural to me. I'm actually pretty happy with how that connected up. And we come along here. Eventually, I want to get like a cart on this corner, because I think that'll look amazing, but we just can't unlock that just yet. And now, if you look carefully along the farm, you'll notice quite a few new things. Like, for example, I've placed some hay bales here. And we've got this one here next to the path, but some of them are a bit further afield. As, hey, further afield. <laughs> uh, pun intended. Anyway, so yeah, they're, they're a bit like further into it, which is kind of nice. They're a bit more subtle. We also put a dovecote just up there. We left these gaps so we can get into the farms as well, and so the workers can get in. So yeah, we added a dovecote there. Uh, what else did I add? Oh, we've got this big hay bale as well right here next to the barn, as you can see. And this fence continues all the way along here, where we have a second entrance in so we can get into the barn and into the pigs. Plus, I built this, which is obviously a well. Uh, you, you probably knew that. <laughs> so that's all built. Now, there are just a couple other things that I want to add. Uh, so what we want to do is go into let's see, workstations, farming, and butter churn. We haven't had any of these yet. Wait, what? Why is there a... Oh, so someone can actually use it. Okay, I didn't know people would actually use this. Uh, I don't think we have anything for them to use it on just yet. That's actually really interesting. Okay, well, let's place one just like here then, because that would be awesome if we saw someone who would be like working it as, as we walk by. Now, does that get added to like buildings and stuff up here? Uh, no, it doesn't seem to. Okay, uh, well, I guess we'll just see what happens over time. It does look nice though. It looks farmy and it's, it's in the right area. So I thought we'd make two up. One that side of the farm and back to the workstations here. Uh, what am I doing? I need farming and the butter churn once again. We'll have this one over here somewhere. And the final thing we're going to make up in a second as well, let's see, we'll put that like, like there, is uh, some compost bins, right? And these are going to be pretty much just decorational, um, but they're still going to be having now. I don't think I've got the logs, do I know? I'll go get all the logs, and then that's what we're going to do next, make up some compost bins just to sort of finish this off. As we're walking through the town now, it does feel a little bit more alive with this stuff as well, especially the fences. I think fences really... Add a, a nice touch to it. It looks more farmy and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, now, the compost bins. Let's get started on those because we can actually place a few over here. So, let's see. Farming decorations, compost bin. So, I think having one here is a great idea, right? Just next to this farming shed. That makes all the sense in the world to me. That would be one there. Uh, there would be one probably over by the pigs as well. Although, we've got this barn here. Maybe we place one just like there as well, outside the barn. And then if we come through on this side where the pigs are... You know, I think a compost bin here could be a decent idea. Uh, we could almost add it in here, and it's almost like it's, you know, decoration like a like a trough, like a feeding trough for the pigs, right? I kind of like the idea. I think I might just place it there. Yeah, I mean, you know, not really. It doesn't really look like a, a feeding trough. It looks more, uh, well, more like a compost bin, <laughs> actually, funnily enough. But I still kind of like it in there. Hopefully you guys will agree on that one. But yeah, I think that's starting to take shape now. The well there is, is one of my favorites. Now, I just wonder if there are any containers that make sense next to the well. Like, possibly a barrel. I wish you could left-click these and see what they look like before you place them. I think barrels next to the well are going to look good, guys. I'll tell you why. There is a barrel right here, right? So if we had a few over here, it kind of fits in that maybe they're storing up some water um, or something like that. So let's do that. I'm going to go make a few. I'll come back once I've got the planks. Okay, so once again, we're over here and we've got these barrels that we're going to place down and we'll just place them, I think, near the well makes more sense than, than further away. So one there like that, one there like that. I wish you could stack them on top of each other. That'd be so cool. And maybe a third one here. So we've got those three barrels there. That looks really nice, I think, doesn't it? Just like that. And then maybe a final one just down here. Again, so we just break the symmetry a little bit. We've got three on this side. We've got two on this side. These are all together and these aren't. To me, that just, yeah, that looks a lot better. Of course, we can use these if we want to as well to actually store stuff in them. Uh, although, yeah, I'm not sure that we, we would do that, but theoretically we could is what I'm saying. And I say what, guys, I really implore you, if you don't typically decorate your builds when you uh, make things in your uh, towns, I, I highly recommend it. I have to say I really, really like the look of this now. Everything here feels so much better, so much different, so much more unique, I guess, right, rather than just the general builds that they give you in the game. 
So yeah, I, I would say it's worth the time and resources, guys. I do hope you're enjoying these videos, guys. I've made all these uh, in advance whilst I am currently in Hong Kong. Uh, if you do want to see my travels over there, I mentioned before, but you can follow my Instagram, links in description. I tend to post things on my Instagram that are a bit different, not necessarily like gaming related, but just, you know, different fun things and whatever. So yeah, anyway, if you want to, then do. And if you don't, that's all good. <laughs> but uh, either way, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode.